This episode of Quite Frankly was made possible by our friends from MacFun. Great photo editing software for Mac. Go to our special MacFun community website for exclusive deals just for you guys. Hey guys and welcome to this episode of Quite Frankly. Now what I love to do when I retouch is first look at the skin. So this image is straight out of the camera. So we go to 100% and we zoom in on the skin. Now as you can see there are some small details here. Now Danique has perfect skin so she doesn't need any filter. But I still want to make sure that it looks a little bit nicer than this and take away some of the hairs. Now one of the things that's perfect for this is actually the healing brush. Now, as you can see, I'm using a healing brush that's actually like an oval. Now, normally, the healing brush is round, as you can see here. But as you can see, if I want to take something out like this, a round healing brush is actually a little bit difficult to work with. So if you make your healing brush like this, now you can really easily take out details. As you can see here, so it works way better. And also, people don't see that you retouch that easily. So if you want to work with the healing brush, or any other brush in this case, just make sure that you know you can change the size from round to oval. And you can even move it around. So that's our tip for today. And this will make sure that your retouching is way easier.